Hi, this is Miriam from Dongxi. Thank you so much for tuning in. Welcome to the Dongxi channel where we tell you all about the hidden startups that you probably have never heard of coming from China. If you're new here, please make sure to subscribe and hit the bell button. If you have been here before, as usual, you're welcome and we're so happy to have you. In these times of crisis, obviously there, is a, there are a lot of things going on. You probably saw several videos already by Marcel. We have a lot of work to do, um, sorting out the whole situation economically um, as well as our projects. At the same time, we see again that there is great opportunities in China for um, investing and also to look into China to discover new services, new business models in the digital economy. Today we're going to talk about one of the biggest tech giants in China. You probably all have heard of it already. It's Tencent. Now Tencent has their earnings call tomorrow and we're going to dig into the performance of all their services in the last couple of weeks during these times of crisis and see how well or not so well they performed in order to um, understand what the situation for the earnings call tomorrow will be. So Tencent itself is actually quite a young company. They were just founded in 98 and they did their IPO in 2004. And since then, as you can see from the curve, um, the stock price has climbed and climbed and climbed until in 2018 they had a couple of dips. There are several reasons for that. Um, first of all, the whole economy is not as strong as it was before. China's economy is slowing down a bit and you can also naturally see this in the Tencent stock. Another factor, of course, is the trade war between the US and China. This just pushes a lot of insecurity in the market and people are really questioning what is happening. And then lastly, one big part of Tencent is their game business. And in 2018, due to some new regulations, the Chinese regulatory authorities halted the approval of several new apps and games, which also had a huge impact on the Tencent stock during that time. And that's why you see there are a lot of dips in the last couple of years. And currently there is also just another dip. This dip is also caused like um, the Tencent shares have just been going down like most other share shares um, the last couple of weeks and actually just recently the last two days and Tencent has also experienced these drops in the market. However, that being said, they are having their earnings call tomorrow and we are expecting some impressive numbers as people have been using a lot of digital services in the last couple of weeks during lockdown in China. Now, if you never heard of Tencent, which I don't think, um, let me give you a short introduction. Tencent is actually one of the biggest tech giants in China and they are in several industries that were relevant um, in <clears throat> and they are in several industries that are relevant in these times of crisis. They are in social media, cloud computing, gaming, fintech and very important these days in video streaming. Now let's look at these individual industries and areas where Tencent is providing some services or where they are somehow invested in. Overall, if we compare the overall screen time in China between last year and this year during um, the Chinese New Year time and just the period after, which was when the crisis really hit and people were forced to stay at home, during this time we saw an overall increase of screen time of 26%. This is a lot. And now let's break it down to the individual services. So first of all, let's look at the most obvious one, the thing that Tencent is known for the most, which is WeChat. WeChat as a messaging service has experienced a really, really proper growth um, during this time as people have been using the messaging service to keep in touch with the people in the outside world be it co-workers, be it their family, um, most of the services. So WeChat as a messaging service experienced quite some growth and the number of daily active users increased by more than 6% and the overall screen time um, on WeChat 
per day increased by 16 minutes. This is a lot considering the fact that people are using WeChat massively and extensively already all the time. So 16 minutes per day on top is quite a lot. And you can see that even after Chinese New Year, when people slowly went back to work, we see even more increase. Now, the second area that we're going to look at is the new services. For Tencent News, we saw a stunning increase of almost 50% daily active users. The reason for that is quite obvious. People wanted to um, stay informed, they really were seeking the news, um, they were looking for proper information about how to behave and what's coming next. Now let's go to the third part. This is actually about gaming and you probably think, well, during the time that people are staying at home, they probably play a lot of games and Tencent is a huge player in this field. Actually, there are two um, biggest and most famous games, Honor of Kings and Game for Peace, um, experienced some growth, but overall they didn't increase so much on the daily time spent. The reason for that is um, probably um, that people are more into live streaming these days and that the momentum of these games has slowed down a little bit and also maybe people were a little bit more preoccupied by the situation why they spent more time on um, reading and watching the news and maybe also going into other trends like live streaming. Next one are the short video apps. Short video is a huge trend in China right now. People love going on Douyin um, and Kuaishuo and um, other video streaming and short video streaming apps and just browse through and get content pushed um, to be entertained um, and to watch what other people are actually doing. Now Kuaishuo is quite popular um, amongst um, second, maybe even third to fourth tier cities, so in the more rural areas. And it's also um, a live streaming service that's not coming directly, or let's say a short video service, um, that is not coming directly from um, Tencent itself. However, Tencent is heavily invested in this service in order to stay competitive to ByteDance, which is actually um, dominating this area currently. We also see an increase here. Um, the daily active users increased about 26%, which is not so much. And as you can also see, the curve is slowly going down again um, in comparison to the other areas and services that we looked at before. And I think this, but this is just my personal opinion, the winner in uh, the short video game these days is actually Douyin, because Douyin's content is a little bit more um, polished and a little bit more curated and I can imagine that people jumped a little bit more from the um, Kwai Show service to the Douyin service and consumed both services, however Douyin um, from ByteDance being a little bit more stable and at least in this area being the winner of the um, couple of days after Chinese uh, New Year where people stayed at home in lockdown. But the next area is again a game changer for Tencent. Um, now we're looking at the longer video platforms. Tencent Video is a video app or a video um, service where you can watch longer videos. And you might see that there is um, a very constant growth. We see an increase of daily active users of around 8 to 9%. But what I find really, really interesting is the increase of the daily screen time in Tencent video, which increased by 18 minutes. If you think about it, a total of 100 minutes or an increase of 18 minutes gives you so much time to put more or to push more content and more ads to the viewer. So I think Tencent video really, really um, had a good time uh, during these days and really gained from the time that people um, stayed at home. Now, if we compare this to the short video performance that we looked at before, I do have the feeling um, the explanation for this is that people are a little bit more relaxed during lockdown because they're at home with their family and they are more likely to consume longer content. Whereas during normal times when they come home from work or at work or um, if they're on a commute, they just want to consume really short, quick content that entertains them and takes off their mind of the daily problems they might have at work or with their family. 
Um, but during lockdown, they have a little bit longer of an attention span, that, which is why Tencent Video is the platform they would go to and watch longer video content. Now, the next service is also a big winner. This is Yuan Fu Dao. This is actually um, a schooling app or an app that helps you with your homework. Um, and as um, the kids are staying home these days and get homeschooling, these kind of services are really sought after. So we see a huge peak of daily active users here. And I think this is definitely an area that we should look into more, especially in the next couple of weeks. Um, as other countries right now in Europe and probably also in America are facing um, lockdown as well, homeschooling is going to be a huge topic and we see a lot of really good services in this area already coming from China. Now, Yuan Fu Dao is a part of the Tencent Cosmos. It's not an app by Tencent itself. Now let's look at the last area, which is a fundamental area as well. Um, we look at the food situation. When you stay at home, you either need to get food delivered or you need to get the ingredients delivered to cook by yourself. And as you can see here, Meituan, which is actually um, the food delivery service in the Tencent Cosmos, has lost a lot during this time and um, actually more than 40% and hasn't recovered since. So it really remains to be seen how quickly people are um, using this service again and how quickly Meituan can recover. On the other side, we see JD. JD is actually one of the biggest e-commerce platforms in China. It means um, the name is actually Jingdong. And uh, Jingdong Daojia or JD Daojia um, is the delivery service for fresh food. And we see again here as well. So as we can see, most of this, <coughs> and we see again here as well, even though the increase wasn't much, but people, when they stayed at home, they ordered the food home to cook by themselves. So as we see, most of the services by Tencent actually gain popularity. We see a lot of more um, daily active users. We see um, an increase in the screen time. And this is a great potential that Tencent proved that they have. And I think it will have an interesting impact on tomorrow's earnings call. Because what we want to know from Tencent right now is, first of all, how do they actually want to use the peak? How are they monetizing on their new users? And how will they push the ads to the users in order to increase the ad revenues. And I think another bigger topic in this whole um, area would also be, can they actually keep up in the gaming industries as their games, even during these times of crisis when people stay at home, have been declining a little bit. Now, as you can see today, the shares are still quite down um, due to the global crisis. Uh, maybe it's a good time to invest today. I don't know. I haven't decided for myself yet if I will invest or not. Certainly, I think tomorrow after the earnings call, the situation will completely change because there are obviously some good numbers to report. And uh, if they have good answers to these questions, the Tencent shares might even um, grow further in the next couple of weeks. So in the long run, I think it makes totally sense to invest in Tencent. However, as you have seen in the last year, um, the share price was quite volatile. Maybe it's a good time to invest now. So we will certainly let you know how we are proceeding. If I bought Tencent or not, we will see next week in our next video. Um, thank you very much for tuning in. Looking forward to read all your comments. What do you think about Tencent? Do you have Tencent shares? Will you be listening to the call? Um, please make sure to subscribe and stay tuned. There are many more companies and services that we're going to discuss in the next couple of days because right now this is really the time for China opportunity. If you're also on TikTok, please make sure to also follow us there. You can get our personal LinkedIn information in the comment section below. Stay healthy, stay safe, and hope to see you all soon. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.